Hey, what's up guys? This is Jim from High End Trout Fishing. So today, I'm here at my house and in my kitchen right now. And I'm going to make a cooking video instead of a fishing video. Because uh, last time when I was in the 11 mile canyon, luckily I caught my personal best 21 inch cutthroat trout in that day. I was very happy about this fish, but uh, sadly, this fish cannot make it make it to the water. Um, reason why is uh, he swallowed my lure all the way through, and that when I take this lure out, it will start bleeding really hard. So I was trying to make him alive, but I think he was going to die. So no choice. I have to bring this guy at home, and then I'm trying to cook this fish today. So today I'm going to make a pan roasted cutthroat trout with uh, thyme and garlic also with the cauliflower puree and saute bacon brussels sprouts so are you guys ready for this? let's cook this fish 안녕하세요 자 하이엔 트라우 피싱입니다 자 오늘은 음, 낚시 비디오를 안 찍고 오늘은 요리 비디오를 찍을 건데 저번에 제가 11 마일 캐년이라는 곳에서 제 인생 고기를 한 마리 잡았는데 이 고기가 이름이 커스로 송어예요. 커스로 송어. 한국말로는 잘 모르겠고요. 커스로 송어고 53cm였습니다. 정말 컸죠. 자, 자, 이 송어가 저번에 제 루어를 삼켜 가지고 이걸 뺐는데 피가 많이 나더라고요. 그래갖고 어떻게 살려 보려고 물에 놔뒀는데 <웃음> 아무래도 <웃음> 안될것 같더라고요. 그래서 결국 집에 집에 가지고 왔고요. 그리고 이 송어 갖다가 오늘 요리를 할 건데 이 요리 이름은 팬 로스트 커스로 송어고요. 그리고 고기에다가 사이드로 콜리 콜리플라워 퓨레랑 그리고 그리고 브루스 스프라우트 씨랑 같이 해서 소태 해가지고 베이컨이랑 같이 만들 생각입니다. 그러면 한번 오늘 요리 한번 만들어 보고요. 맛은 어떤지도 참 궁금한데 이 송어 한 번도 못 먹어봤거든요. 그래서 맛도 정말 궁금해요. 자 그럼 한번 만들어 보겠습니다. 자 한번 가볼까요? 파. So I got a cauliflower right here. I'm gonna cut this now. 자 이제 재료 먼저 준비를 하고. Let's prepare this all these ingredients first, and then I'm gonna cook it after. Let's see. So I'm gonna make this cauliflower as a puree, so I'm gonna cut it really small. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna blend this cauliflower. This much should be enough for myself. And both of sprouts. About four, five pieces probably should be enough. Okay, five pieces should be enough. Maybe six pieces. Because it's gonna be myself. Watch a couple times. Mm. It's gonna be a nice and simple dish. After shooting up, so, I stick with 
and I love this college. Okay, should be not. A uh, piece of bacon. I love this bacon fat. I put the skins on or skins off you know what I'm gonna make uh, without skins so I'm gonna take this out skins out for sure so check this out meat nice and fresh yep take this meat out Skins off. Cool. So this fish, I'm gonna season it with a. Uh... All right. So this guy, I'm gonna do a little bit of a soul seasoning. Soul season, and both side. Black pepper, black pepper, black pepper, and sometimes, whole time, dry times. And I need a lemon pepper a little bit. A little bit of lemon pepper, a little bit of citrus flavor on the top of it. Yes. Going to cook some Brussels sprout first. Let it cook it. The water. This is the unsalted butter. About three pieces should be good. Let it melt. If it's too hot, let it up. Melt the butter. A little bit of garlic. Onions. Cook it. And broth sprout should be done. Sprout. Let it cook the butter until it gets soft. Put some heavy cream. Just cover. Cook about about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm gonna I want to use the, just the salt seasoning. I put kosher salt. About about two teaspoons. And let it about medium heat. Let it cook it slowly. All right. It's getting softened. That's good.
All right, time to cook some sauteed Brussels sprout with the bacon. All right, so sauteed vegetable, I'm gonna use the regular oil. And fish, I'm gonna use the olive oil. Oops. I'm gonna cook. Garlic first with the bacon. So when we saute the vegetable with the bacon fat, it tastes like two times better than regular fat. That's why I love bacon. Okay, same time. Yeah. Look at this. And I'm gonna cook my fish right here. I'm gonna cook on the bottom of the meat side for I like this color way better. Ooh. Yes sir. I'm gonna let it put a little bit of a kosher salt. A little bit of a pepper. Good. I need a. Uh, I need to caramelize this uh, Brussels sprout. I add a little bit more oil. Not enough. Start sticking it. A little bit more. Oh, it comes out. Look at this brown color. This is what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna cover this guy. All right, I'm gonna butter toss this one with the with the garlic and thyme. Butter. Plate is nice and hot. Okay, so this plate is really nice and hot. Alright, I'm gonna put the cauliflower puree first. Look at this cauliflower. Comes out nicely. Oh yeah. Nice and roasted. Look at this color. Isn't it beautiful? Oh yeah. Alright. Fish. Let's do a little bit garnish on the top. Cool. All right, look what I made it. This is the pan roasted cutthroat trout with the cauliflower puree with the sauteed Brussels sprout with the bacon. Oh yeah. Let's try. Okay. So my meal is ready. Let's see what it tastes like because I never tried the cutthroat trout before. Oh yeah. It's on the rock. Let's see how it tastes like. I'm ready. Okay. Ooh, look at this meat. With a little bit of cauliflower. And let's try. 
Wow. It's just really good. This meat is really, really, really firm and then tastes amazing. Look at this meat. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Mmm. So good. Okay guys, so I just finished the dish. Check this out. So this fish is really great fish. It tastes amazing and I love the texture. I love this texture also because very firm. It's not like a rainbow trout. This trout is more firmer than rainbow trout for sure. So this is my second favorite fish to eat. First trout is my favorite trout is lake trout. Lake trout is like super amazing. They're really juicy, firm. They're all meat. They're really good, has a good meat. But this costal trout, also really good too. If you guys catching costal trout in the river or lake, whatever, why don't you guys try out? It's really good. So thank you for watching you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Pa. 자, 이렇게 디시를 끝냈습니다. 자, 디시 정말 어, 고기, 이 송어고기랑 같이 콜리플라워 퓨레랑 해서 먹어봤는데 정말 맛있네요. 어, 이 송어가 내가 봤을 때는 제가 봤을 때는 제가 여태까지 먹어본 송어 중에 종 중에 두 번째로 맛있는 것 같아요. 첫 번째는 레이크 트라우트라고 미국에서 되게 깊은 곳에 사는 송어인데 걔네는 진짜 맛있어요. 근데 애도 그만큼 맛있긴 한데 약간 덜 떨어지긴 해도 맛있어요. 근데 무지개 송어보다는 훨씬 맛있어요. 진짜로 무지개 송어보다는 진짜 맛있어요. 그리고 브라운 송어도 먹어보긴 했는데 걔네는 그냥 괜찮아요. 근데 그렇게 좋아하진 않아요. 왜냐면 걔네는 향이 너무 강해가지고 그렇게 좋아하는 송어는 아니에요. 하지만 이 송어는 향은 좀 덜한데 그래도 진짜 고기가 맛있는 고기예요. 만약에 한국 사시는 분들은 모르겠는데 미국에 사시는 한국 분들이랑은 낚시를 갔다가 컷스로 송어를 잡으시면 한번 트라이 한번 해보세요. 정말 맛있어요. 자 오늘은 여기까지고요. 그러면은 다음 비디오에 뵙겠습니다. Bye.